Hello everybody, welcome back to Turn Survival 1.18. We are here with our copper. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, of course, this is the, like the third batch uh, where we're turning it into this color as well as the slight green color. This one here we're going to take to the next level. The not totally green, but slightly green, and then we're going to wax it. Um, so, yeah, and then we've been collecting lots <laughs> and all of our furnaces. We've got two two banks of furnaces that have been burning. But we have a problem, and the problem is that uh, our pickaxe, we keep running out, and we have no mending to improve these, to make them better, all that kind of stuff. So what I was thinking is that it's time to get mending, and that means a villager, right? Um, so we need to get a villager and um you know hopefully <laughs> um excuse me there the kitty is sitting on the keyboard i don't know why they do that all right somebody is saying that they were trying to break down crafting blocks to make shards why can't we make shards um oh yeah that's because on the other server swan they had a plug in creating that so for shards for shards for shards uh, let me whoops let's go back mm. oh yeah yeah okay. all right <laughs> we're pressing all kinds of buttons let me see so we technically would need to break Crystals. Okay, we will. TPA here. Who is it? It's zero zero seven. Leap we. I need to get the short. Oh, okay. Ah, TP. Accept. There you go. <laughs> cool. So he is taken care of. <laughs> and we got some shards too. <laughs> All right, anyways, um, so yeah, we, we need villagers and all that good stuff. So what I'm thinking is we need a boat. Yes. Uh, boat, boat, boat. We really need chest organization, too. Oops, there we go. I saw I saw wood. There's wood. We'll make some birch boats. <laughs> we need two villagers. Um, and the best way to get them here is by boat, and then we can at least get them in here, do a water stream thing. We'll have to dig some caves. Be creative, because we've got our we've got the village right over there. Um, it would be nice if you could put a villager on a lead and just bring them over here, but I guess, you know, that would kind of be, uh, well, not very kosher. <laughs> you know, I mean, I understand why they don't allow that, because it could... It could lead to uh, issues. Uh, looks like somebody put some vines on the tower. That's interesting. Cool. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I'm not really going to be building over here very much. Um, I'm building on the other side of the river. So it would be nice if someone comes over here and does something with the tower. Maybe they'll make a farm out of it or whatever. Of course, uh, you know, if we bring villagers in and we create base, we'll have to watch out because of raids. But that's okay, too. Eventually, the goal is to make a farm out of that. Whoops. Come on, game. <laughs> All right. So we're just going to run over here and see if there's any villagers left. We only need two. Let's not fall down in the crevasse. That wouldn't be good. It's a long ways down. <laughs> Um, but yeah, if we can get mending, then that'll solve our our problems. So ideally, we want to 
Okay, so we're going to have to stay at this level or higher, or we'll have to create a bridge over the crevasse. <laughs> um, so the best bet is to get snag a villager that is up high, uh, wandering around. All right. Um, and then try to stay on the side of the mountain until we get over to where the river is so that we can at least park them in front of the bridge or, you know, until we can get a cave and a water stream, right? Um, so, are there any villagers up top? Let's, let's go up top first and see if there's a villager up here that we can steal. Because this is the closest village that I know of. Now, there might be some other villages that are close as well. But I'm not sure. Could have brought some blocks in case we need them. All right, anybody up here? Any villagers up here just wandering around before we have to go down low and pick them up? There's spawn. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any villagers up here. All right, so. Closest villager, or the highest villager, now, is probably going to be that one. Unless there's one in here. You want to come up high, buddy? Alright, you're it. If I can place this boat. Okay, we are going to make it back to base with you. Somehow. Oops. Alright, so we, we kind of need to try to stay as high as possible along the side of the mountain. We'll see if we can do that. <laughs> Since we can't build railway, and we don't really want to dig a tunnel all the way over here, of course there would be a tree in the way, wouldn't there? I didn't bring my axe. Alright, I guess it's faster to dig this out. We'll have to make sure we go sleep. Do, 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 so we don't encourage any mobs to come zombify our villager. Although, if they did, then, you know, I'll just cure him. But um, there's always that chance that he dies. Oh, someone else is going to sleep. Okay. Cool. Not a problem. Just want to make sure that we don't suffocate our friend. Okay, cool. So we may continue our journey. Do, 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 It is a fresh new morning, which is great for bringing villagers. Oh, darn it. Okay, well, we fell down one. What are we caught on? Oh, boy, where do we... Okay, well, we fell down two. Looks like we're going to fall down more over here. We have no choice. <laughs> We may have to build build a bridge across the crevasse. As long as we don't go below the river level, I guess then that's okay, right? <laughs> this is gonna be a long trip. We gotta take two of them out. We're gonna go down, aren't we? There we go. Okay, well, we're gonna get around the crevasse, so I'm happy about that. But we do need to stay, make sure we stay up higher than the river so that we can at least get him that close. Because then if we have to build a tunnel or lead him along or, you know, things like that somehow, can I make it rain? Hmm. Probably. <laughs> Weather set. Store. Oh, whoops. Um, what is the command? Might help if I spell it right, right? Weather set. Oh, no. Set. Weather. I have. Why won't it let me? Weather. Okay. Storm. There we go. Happy to help out. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> Alright, cool. So, anyways, back to uh, our journey. Now we are in the rain. We have to defend ourselves. 
<laughs> Wonder what he wants range for. Hi, sheep. You're in the way, sheep. I'm trying to go somewhere. Uh, I probably didn't want to fall down there. I think we're still above the river. As long as we don't get ourselves caught in a hole, right? Do, 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 do. Okay, that goes down. I think we'll just skip around over here. <laughs> the exciting journey of transporting a villager. Do, 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 here, now you can kind of see what's going on. <laughs> and plus, we can see what's in front of us. <laughs> Alright, I think we are going to make it. Whoops. Excellent, I see Rivera. Rivera, rest right ahead. Yay. <laughs> Barely see the city. Well, the wall's not really lit up very much, you know. Okay, first villager is pretty much delivered. Now we gotta go back and get another one. <laughs> We're going to have to try to make sure we get him up high, too, if we're going to get around that crevasse. Unless we want to build a bridge. All right. Awesome. So let's park this guy over here. We're inside the claim now, so there we go. Welcome to Skytown. So that means um, we don't have to worry about... There. Zombies and monsters spawning, because they shouldn't. Uh, it reminds me, I was going to collect these up, because we have a bridge now, so we don't need these across the river, and we can use them for decoration and other things. There. Alright. Alright, back to the village. Get our second villager, and then we'll set up a little uh, breeder. <clears throat> So they can make babies, and we will create some um, lecterns and roll for a mending villager, even if it's expensive. Although preferably not, just because you know then we have to come up with all the emeralds to buy the books, <laughs> and of course knock down the price by. Zombifying the villager and then unzombifying him, which half the time leads to the villager dying. Yeah, I haven't ever really been successful with that very well. So we need to stay at this level or above. Not sure if that's going to be very possible, depending on where our villagers are standing over here. Should get some cats to put in our put in our city. We need a cat population. Okay, well there's one. Um, now he's kind of low. Let's see if we can get someone up here first. Like, aha, there's plenty of them up here. All right, um, could you come this way? Keep coming. No, 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 come over here. I have I have stuff for you. No, that's it. Come on. No, 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 no. Turn around. Give me my boat. Where'd you go? All right, you're going up higher. That's fine. Aha, we gotcha. <laughs> now, if we can stay at this height around the hillside, we're good. We won't have to transport any more villagers unless we accidentally kill one. <laughs> Which, you know, hopefully we will... Oh, no. I had to fall in the... You gotta hate... Paths. Look at this. I can't even... I'm stuck in this path... Path blocks. They have to be one shorter, and then it makes it so that you can't get through, which is really annoying. Alright, well, anyways... Run! Off to the races! <laughs> I don't want to go down any lower, so... We're kind of just uh, going to skirt through the hill and we'll dig out a little bit. 
That's okay. We can do that. I think we were at this level before anyways, right? Because we passed this little cave. No zombies gonna come up out of it. Hope not. <laughs> cool. Alright. Okay, we're gonna go down a little bit. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Oh, this is the same spot we got stuck on before last time, right? But we're fine. Cool. We are fine. Alright. Nice. Mission accomplished. Sort of. <laughs> we still gotta get them up into the city. That's the trick. Which we'd have to go we'll have to go back to the nether, get soul sand, and then we gotta go to the ocean and get more kelp. We might have a little kelp, but we don't have enough to create a elevator that's going to go all the way up, so... Yeah. Let me see. Okay, yeah, we can come down here like we did before. Okay, we're good. Just don't fall in that hole. Otherwise, we got a lot of digging to do. <laughs> we can see the smoke from one of our chimneys. Eventually, we'll see a bunch. Once we get more buildings, I mean, we only got three buildings in the entire city. Two of them up in the city, and then one, of course, is uh, down by the river. The, uh, the candles, the candle house, Mr. and Mrs. Candle, which eventually we'll have to get villagers there so that they can represent Mr. and Mr. Candle. How come they didn't do a, you know, a... A bee master, bee villager, you know? And then he trades honey and candles and wax and stuff like that. wonder if they'll ever add any other villager jobs into future versions of Minecraft. It's possible. I mean, there's lots of stuff they could add in fairly easy and create, you know, villager roles for. All right. We have made it. Our other villager is here. He has not been attacked. That is good. Very good. Now we got to get them inside. So, best way to do that is to use this wonderful efficiency shovel. Hopefully we get Death Strider here soon. There we go. And we'll create a water path. And tunnel. Of course we'll have to repair it later, but and cover it over. But at least we'll be able to float our boats over here. And get underground and get to the city. Alright, cool. We're down to the slow digging digging part. <laughs> Too bad you can't just do a, a one tunnel, right? That would be handy. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay. If it was uh, level, we could continue, but uh, we're just going to go this way. Fortunately, we don't have to go very far to make this happen. But we're going to go ahead and get... We'll go get the soul sand. Oh, another cave. Water cave. Can we can we not just there we go. Let's see. Da, da. Sorry, water cave, we gotta fill you up. Alright, we should be far enough. Let me look. Oh, no, I think we need to go a little bit further. So this should be good. We'll just stick those there. Alright, now we gotta dig up. We'll just do it the old fashioned way and hope we don't run into gravel, right? <laughs> if we're lucky, 
Well, no, we probably won't end up inside of our little workshop because uh, that was further that way a little bit. Um, so that won't happen, but we'll take, anyways, we want to take them all the way up anyways for now. question is, do we want to try to breed them first and get, you know, set these two up as, uh, you know, the breeding pair? <laughs> that sounds so bad, doesn't it? <laughs> or do we want to, um, set, go ahead and try to just give them jobs and then worry about breeding and stuff later? I'm not sure. All right, we've got to be getting close to the top of the mountain, right? Surface. I see dirt. Probably means surface. Ta-da! Where are we? Right here? No, this'll, this'll do. Let's, let's go ahead and dig down. He gets them into the city. That's all I need, right? Okay, so now we need to go get, um, no, let's get some food first. Lay there, I think the battery in my keyboard's getting low. Alright, let's go get soul sand from the nether. Here we go, our second trip into the nether. We just need some soul sand. Probably means we need to go down somewhere fairly safely. So we'll come this way. There's some hoglins. I'm not too excited about them, but uh, we'll kind of skip past them. Eventually we'll get nether supplies and do something with the nether too. Or with these guys. Okay, no, no soul sand down there that I saw. Hopefully we lost the the wart pigs or hoglins or whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called. Um, of course, we, you know, we have to have the one area where there's not going to be any at all, right? <laughs> there could be some down low underneath all of this. This is just the wrong... Um, the wrong, whatchamacallit, uh, biome. Oh, hey, 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 no, 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 where's our sword, where's our sword? You, mister. Good thing there was not lava down here. Why, we do have some fire protection. Um, well, I guess we're down here. I'm not seeing any... Soul sand. So what do we do? Do we do we just maybe dig down and hope to find some soul sand down here? Usually there's all you know hatches, right? Potentially, maybe not. Maybe that would be the longer. That's probably the hard way to do it. Um, is that soul sand over there? I think that's soul sand over there. Did we collect enough? No. <laughs> but maybe we can get over there. All right, let's go find out. We're going to run out of time on this episode really fast. <laughs> I don't know if we'll accomplish everything on camera. We might have to cut some stuff out. So if we skip, you know why.
So we should have a water stream now that will take us all the way up. We didn't bring signs. Why do we need signs? Oh, let's stop the flow of the water. Oh, we just need a couple pieces of wood and some of those and some sticks and some signs. All right, and then we can go get our villagers. All right, and of course, be hard to walk over here. Hard to walk over here. And, um, all right, fine. We'll just do that. Cool. All right, let's go get our villagers. <laughs> Trick is, of course, you know, getting them to walk into the, the water stream after you get them out of the boat, right? But, uh, we'll make it happen. We'll get there. Cool. All right, we got a little bit of a slow journey here. This is the tran villager transport episode. That's what it is. Okay, we're gonna get you right in, right up next to the the water stream here. Let's turn around. Okay, let's back you up. Get out, just in case you get some ideas. Um, all right, we'll use wood. We're just gonna do that. Now we're gonna go. No, we don't. We don't want to do that. Where's the hit box? <laughs> Where? Where's the hit box? All right, get in the water stream. Thank you. <laughs> One villager is now up in the city to wander around. <laughs> um, hopefully he won't die. <laughs> While I have turned on the, the no spawn rules of the, the claim plugin, there's always a danger. That something might spawn, or that they even might wander outside of the city, you know? I mean, I don't got gates that close off the city. I mean, I left them open. <laughs> um, but that's okay. We'll, we'll figure it out. Alright. If we'd had another sign, we could have backed them right up into the water stream. Oh, oops. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to... Didn't mean to hurt you. Oh. All right. Let's come over here. Oh. And... Cool. Get up there. Awesome. All right. We'll close it off so no zombies oh. will come over here. Cool. All right. Well, you guys wander around. <laughs> We're good. We are out of time on this episode. <laughs> in the next episode, hopefully we'll get some mending and get these guys set up. But thank you for joining me today. See you guys.